XL uh, live in Utah and Salt Lake, where, uh, again, the high winds and the drifting snow is just absolutely hammering. Uh, Mike, what do you think? Inch an hour here or what? Yeah, this is about an inch an hour, Jim, because it's that powdery snow. Uh, the temperature just checking down at the airport 24. And one thing that is happening today that happens very rarely in Salt Lake City, the district schools have thrown in the towel. But guess what? You're going to have to make up the day on Friday, May 22nd. That's leading into Memorial Day weekend. So, you know, pick your poison. But schools in Salt Lake City are closed today. We're out here at Big Cottonwood Canyon Road heading up towards Big Cottonwood and Little Cottonwood. Those are the two main mountain, uh, basically, roads that go through the passes that get you up to the ski resorts. And you can see we've got the chain. Uh, the traction laws are in effect. And with Little Cottonwood, it's so steep and narrow, they'll probably have landslide control during the day where they shut down the road for an hour or so at a time, get rid of the snow, and reopen it so you can get skiers up and then get skiers down uh, later in the day. Salt Lake City has had below average snowfall for the past six years. We'll see what they do this year. Going into this storm, they'd had 70% of their total to date. And we may eradicate wipe out the entire deficit today. Five inches so far at the airport an hour ago, uh, moderate snow falling, and you can see the snow continuing through the day into this evening before it winds down, and we're up here in the benches. We're gonna do better up here, a little elevation, a little more lift with that north northwest flow, and then on the south end of the lake, Tuella, they could get 20 inches of snow down there with a lake enhancement, like a lake effect setup with the wind coming over the lake. The lake temperature yesterday was 37 degrees. So Stephanie, big storm up here in the Wasatch. Ski resorts have had banner snowfall so far, over 300 inches so far in Alta this season, and they're going to get another one to two feet today. Sick shot, Mike. We all are wondering, though, can you smell, you were talking about the lake, um, can you smell that rotten egg sulfur smell that uh, has been reported? I smelled that all night in my hotel room. Well, I'm thinking, had, is that from the Super Bowl party in the lobby? Do. Because that we had came nothing to do with the Great Salt Lake, Mike. But at least we got your shot up for a few more seconds. Yes. Everyone, enjoy your breakfast. Oh, Let's word. talk about parts of the Northeast that got blanketed with snow this weekend. <laughs> oh, precious. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to take you into the central U.S. Leave it to Mike Seidel. Let's go out to Mike Seidel, who is, uh, I believe, in the benches uh, this morning. Are you near Holiday, uh, Seidel, with the nine inches? Exactly where we are. Yes, it's adding up over a half a foot in the valley, which you say nine inches up here. It's coming down, and we've got Lisa Miller from the Utah DOT here. And I look back, the biggest storm here was Thanksgiving. They had 9.6 over three days. But you think this is going to be more impactful, even if they don't get 9.6 officially. This is going to be a really big storm, pretty much for the entire state of Utah. And it's early in the morning, and we've already seen about six inches in the valley here. In the mountain areas, we're going to see about two feet of snow over the course of, of this storm. So we're really warning drivers. Heed the warning that you're getting from your state government officials. Governor Herbert um, was talking last night uh, on the news and sent an email to all of the 20,000 state employees telling them, make sure that you're prepared if you're heading out on the roads today. And if you don't have to head out, maybe stay home. And telecommute. Schools are closed. Now, what about traction on I-80? What's, uh, what's going on now with the uh, interstate? going up towards Park City and the ski resorts. Sure, Interstate 80, Parley's Canyon, which is just east of Salt Lake City, there's a traction requirement for semis right now. And it's a very steep mountain grade, a lot of curves on that roadway. So we really want semis to be prepared if they're heading up that direction so they don't get stuck and cause problems. And the other big uh, uh, trek today up through the Cottonwood Canyons, little and big, we've got the sign behind us saying chains and tractions. Well, we have the greatest snow on earth here. There's, there's no secret to that. But if you're heading up in the canyons today, if you are taking the day off, make sure you really prepare before you head out on the roadways today. Make sure you have good tires on your car, safe following distance, and if you have to get into an emergency situation, an emergency kit in your car is really critical. Okay, Lisa Miller from Utah DOT. Thanks. Look at this. Speaking of that, we've got a gentleman here with front-wheel drive, and he's not, you think he's going to get up the hill, Lisa? I think um, when the people that are coming from that stoplight, uh, they're going to have to go around him. But yeah, yeah it's, it's really critically important with front wheel drive cars. Um, make sure you have good tires on your car. Okay, thanks, Lisa. Steph, back to you. You can all see right. the impacts continuing all day into this evening here in the Salt Lake Valley, the benches and yeah. the mountains. So let's talk about that. Here we go. Here's the snow still. 
Hey, good morning. And out here in the benches, we're getting crushed. It's been snowing hard since about 2 a.m. this morning. And uh, nine inches so far, it's powder. Uh, they call champagne powder. It's copyrighted. Boy, it's beautiful snow. And unlike the wet, gloppy snow, it just falls right off you. It's a pleasure to work in. Our temperature's been hovering about 24, 25 degrees. Not a whole lot of wind out here, which is a good thing. Otherwise, we get the blowing and drifting. What we've seen out here on Big Cottonwood Cannon Road are cars trying to get up the hill. This uh, car right here was spinning its wheels down at the light. And now it is trying to get up. Front wheel drive is not going to do it today on these hills and through these canyons here. Uh, in Utah, but everybody taking it nice and slow. Probably some of these uh, folks trying to get up to the ski resorts. That's how you get up to uh, Alta and Brighton and Solitude in those areas uh, up in the mountains where they're going to get another one to two feet of snow. Let's talk about the road conditions. Bring in from UDOT, Lisa Miller. And as you can see out here, a perfect example of what people are dealing with. Maybe some folks should stay home if they don't have to work today. Well, if you're not heading out either to work or to the ski resorts, make sure that you really know what's going on on the roads before you head out today. This is a statewide storm, and right here on the bench where we are, we're already seeing heavy snow totals like you mentioned. But mm -hmm. throughout the state, it's really varying conditions right now as the storm comes into the state of Utah. You know, a lot of times the mountains get hammered, and here in the valley you get a little bit of snow or may even rain because of all the uplift and it depends on the wind direction but this is as you mentioned this is hitting just about everybody in the state right and this is a really cold cold front that's coming in and of course we have the really nice fluffy snow here but when the road temperatures get colder then the treatment chemicals are less effective so you really have to pay attention throughout the day what you see now might not be what you see in a couple hours and everybody's working the long shifts at the dot yeah, we have about 520 plows throughout the entire state. And I just checked the UDOT traffic app, and they're all out working, uh, treating the roadways and making sure we can keep the roads open and safe for all drivers. I-80, though, is open up to Park City with some restrictions. Right. Interstate 80, Parley's Canyon, just east of the, the uh, Salt Lake Valley is open, but um, chains or traction devices are required for semis right now. Okay, Lisa Miller, thanks for sticking out. In the, in the snow, it's, not, it's kind of pretty out here, It's huh? great. It's beautiful. Utah's beautiful. Yeah, you got to take advantage of the winter because it, I know in the summer out here it's just gorgeous because the humidity is so low. Those of us back east are jealous. Yeah, I'm a former Midwesterner, so I can get behind the low humidity here. Oh, there you go. Okay, Lisa Miller, thanks. Again, snow adding up inch an hour at times here, and it's going to snow all day long, another half a foot or more, especially in the benches the ski resorts, and south of the lake in Tuella, where they get the wind across the lake. Uh, just a big storm, and it may be the biggest one of the year, uh, Felicia, if we can talk. Good morning from Holiday, Utah. We're up here in the benches in the southeast suburbs of Salt Lake City. The entire area is getting crushed with moderate to heavy snow. It's powder. Temperatures have fallen into the mid-20s, some spots low 20s. And this is Big Cottonwood Canyon Road. A lot of cars have been getting stuck going up the road, the cars with front-wheel drive, and that's it. And now we've got a plow that's getting ready to come right up the road. Perfect timing. Utah DOT doing their job. He's got both blades down. He's going to scrape the road. That should help things out. But the snowfall rate's been running about an inch an hour. And so far, nine plus, almost 10 inches of snow here. There he goes. Now in the valley, they've had, hello, thanks for the honk. Love it when the snow plowed operators honk. Down in the valley, they've had six inches of snow. By the way, I checked the airport a little while ago. Only one cancellation. So they're doing okay down there. They're going to be certainly de-icing. School's closed today. Uh, government office workers, state office workers told to come in four hours late or try to stay home and telecommute. So a big storm, and it's going to snow all day long, especially up here and in the ski resorts. Keep an eye on the canyon roads. Right now the traction laws are in effect there. And for trucks on that section, uh, that very steep section of I-80 between Salt Lake City and Park City. Felicia? Thanks a lot. Bring in uh, meteorologist Mike Seidel. He is in Holiday, Utah. Mike, we certainly have seen people slipping inside and looks like uh, with the passing of every minute, you get more snowfall there, reduced visibility. Yes, indeed. We're keeping an eye on the Wasatch Front. That's disappeared, so the visibility has come down once again. And you mentioned 11 inches of snow, Cottonwood Heights. That's just around the corner. So effectively, we've had about 11 inches here in Holiday. And this is Big Cottonwood Canyon Road. Vehicles coming up the incline here. Now you see that there's some asphalt out there. You can see the darker surface. Thanks to the sun angle, a little higher now, we've got some daylight, finally. 
on the mountain time zone. And temperatures, though, are going nowhere today. They're going to stay in the low and mid-20s, so we're not going to get any melting from the actual ambient temperature. Travel is uh, pretty good shape here, but if you don't have all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive vehicle, you're going to get stuck like this gentleman here. He's pulled over. In fact, the plows have gone around him, and it's just sitting there. And he's got front-wheel drive, so that's what you're running into. And they are down the road in the distance. You can see the signs for the canyons. They are both open right now, but typically... In a case like this, Little Cottonwood Canyon, very steep and narrow, they have to do uh, slide control so the uh, snow doesn't slide down over the roadway. And they'll close the canyon for, say, an hour or 90 minutes and take care of that with explosions and then reopen it. Last time I checked, both roadways are open so you can get up to the ski resorts for the champagne powder. It's going to continue through the day into this evening, then wind down. Tomorrow is going to be one of those bluebird days up here in the Wasatch. So the snow continues to add up. Schools close. A lot of businesses are closing, and they're saying, you know, if you don't have to travel, don't. You can see what we're dealing with out here. Uh, if you go out, you need all-wheel or four-wheel drive, and you got to give yourself some extra time. Hey, going into the storm, Salt Lake City, only 70% of their seasonal snowfall to date, down about 10 inches, so they're taking a big dent into that. Last check at the airport, they picked up seven inches of snow. By the way, the biggest snowfall on a calendar day in February is 10.9. Going back to, what, the 1880s. So we'll see. We'll see if we can muster up uh, about another four inches and set that record. We might as well go for it. Tevin, Felicia, back Thanks to you so guys. Mike. Yeah, Mike, you know, if it keeps coming down the way it has been, I'd say we might be in the running for it. Yeah, we, we could be. Of course, keep in mind, we're up here higher up in the benches, and we got the orographic lift. The other spot that's going to do very well is the town of Tuella, which is directly south of the lake. So you get that wind over the lake. The lake water temperature yesterday, I believe, was 37 degrees. So it's, it's lake effect. It's oh, not yeah. the Great Lakes. It's the Great Salt Lake. And then you get uh, snow there. So down there, expecting uh, maybe 18 inches or more, 18 to 20 inches in Tuella but not in the city of Salt Lake City. Ah, certainly an impressive snowmaker across that area. Thanks so much, Mike. Good morning, Mike Seidel back here, and we are dealing with a big snowstorm in Salt Lake City. So far, seven inches at the airport. We've had over 11 up here as we head up Cottonwood Canyon, big Cottonwood Canyon Road, and look, the visibility has improved so we can see the Wasatch Front, those beautiful mountains. And you go up there a little bit and take a left turn. One of the canyon roads takes you right up to all those ski resorts, Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, Solitude. And a lot of powder hounds heading up there today for this fresh champagne powder. Uh, they're going to easily get maybe half a, another half a foot or more. So we're talking some totals of, say, 15 to 20 inches of snow. Uh, in the Salt Lake Valley, totals won't be quite so high. Everybody's... Going skiing, I'm going to tell you, they're really pumped up out here because of this powder. This will likely be, uh, if not the biggest, second biggest storm of the year. They picked up 9.6 back in November, right around Thanksgiving. That was spread out over three days. But as far as the calendar day goes, uh, more importantly, I think they have now broken the record for the day. I believe it was about seven, seven and a half inches for the day, February 3rd. There's the curb right there. School's closed. Uh, that's uh, a good thing. They don't close schools very often here in Salt Lake City uh, because they deal with the snowfall. This is uh, an area, officially the 30-year average, 56 and change. So just over 56 inches in a typical season. And going into the storm, they were down about 30%, uh, down about 10 inches. So they're eating away at the deficit. We're getting fresh powder for the skiers. And remember, the snow all factors into the uh, spring melt and the fire season. And by the way, guys, uh, a lot of folks watching from other parts of the country, like Oklahoma City, like Wichita, Wichita Falls, Texas, like parts of the Northeast. Well, this is a coast-to-coast -coast storm, so Kate is going to have impacts, for instance, uh, thinking ahead, your Wednesday morning commute in Oklahoma City, likely to be very dicey. Not as much snow as here, but it doesn't take much uh, in that part of the world. Yeah, it's all it's all relative. Yes. <laughs> uh, of course, we know where you are, Mike. They are, or they're pretty equipped to deal with this type of snow. Uh, we are actually going to head to Holiday, Utah, where there's a winter storm warning. And in fact, that's where we find meteorologist Mike Seidel. So, Mike, it does seem as though that snow is still coming down. And you can tell the light, powdery nature as we get a little bit of a wind gust here or there. Yes, indeed. Well, temperature is now 22 at the airport, where they've had at least seven. At last check, we've had up to a foot in this area. And as Felicia mentioned, it's powder. In fact, they've copyrighted champagne powder the ski resorts or utah has and look look at this i'll throw it up 
So we're getting a little bit of a breeze, but certainly I wouldn't say we're getting blowing and drifting at this point. Winds are running about 10 to 15 miles an hour. There ha you know, I keep finding that curb. There has been a ground stop hoisted at Salt Lake City International. So right now, uh, they've got that running until 9.30 mountain time, local time, because they're dealing with a single runway and snowfall removal. So they'll update that. So we've got that going for about another hour at least. So that's going to slow things down. Up until they put out the ground stop, they'd only reported one flight canceled across all the airlines that fly into SLC. Big Cottonwood Canyon, Little Cottonwood Canyon, those are the ways up to the ski resorts for this uh, powder hound kind of day. Uh, those roads are in the distance. The first one you meet is Big Cottonwood Canyon. And to get up there, you've got to have the needed traction requirements, the all-wheel drive, the four-wheel, or the chains. Uh, they're stopping vehicles. They're not going to let you go through those canyons in this kind of weather because the snow is continuing to add up. In fact, we've had reports I saw on Twitter uh, from those folks in the canyons that watch the roads that they're getting snowfall rates of up to two inches an hour. Uh, so they've got to keep ahead of that. And, and by the way, Felicia, they'll likely close Little Cottonwood Canyon. That's kind of a normal on a situation like this. It's very steep, and they want to keep the snow slides from coming down and covering the highway and knocking cars off the highway. So we expect that to happen at some point, if not once today, a couple of times uh, today here outside of Salt Lake City. Yeah, certainly want to keep everyone safe there. Thanks so much, Mike. We'll talk to you a little bit later. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel. Back here in the benches, the higher elevations, just outside of Salt Lake City. We're in the Cottonwood Heights area, Holiday, Utah. And up here, you tend to get more snow because you have the orographic lift. And we've been dumped on again over the past 15 or 20 minutes. Now, uh, over a foot of snow here. It's all powder. Temperatures in the low 20s. And this is what we've seen up and down the road leading up to Cottonwood and Little Cottonwood Canyon. Cars can't get up the road. They pull over. All they have is front-wheel drive, and that is not going to do it in a situation like this. Because the roads, although they've been plowed, you can see there's still a lot of snow. They plowed on the other side. They have not come back up this way uh, in the past, say, half an hour or so. So we're due with the plows any moment now. But the snow's going to continue all day. It is a banner day. Just talked to some folks who are trying to get up to the ski resorts. They're really pumped and stoked to get up there. They just want to get up there. Uh, the canyon roads are open right now, but again, Little Cottonwood Canyon, they tend to close that occasionally and do some explosions to get the snow off the very steep uh, sides, and so they lower the threat of a landslide, or snow slide, I should say, across the highway, which could take out cars. But uh, a big storm here by any means, and a cold storm. Typically in Salt Lake City, you don't get a big storm with temperatures this cold, and up in the mountains right now, wind chills are already running at five or six degrees below zero in the ski resorts. So a very cold air mass and a lot of snow, Tevin, and it makes for a great day to be out here covering the storm for the Weather Channel, and it's heading east. As you know, places that have been in the 70s even today are going to see snow by tomorrow night and Wednesday. Yeah, Mike, that they will. This storm is heading towards the east, and as it does, not only does it have a cold side and a snowy side, but also a warm side. We'll look at the threat of severe weather in just a moment. Mike Seidel, he is in Holiday, Utah. And Mike, how are the roads shaping up? We know we've seen people here or there sort of get stuck. Uh, are there any cars still stuck behind you, or have most of those gotten out of the way? Uh, nobody is stuck behind me. They're getting up the hill, some of them slowly, some of them get stuck and then they get out, particularly the ones that have front wheel drive. This is not a day you can go up through the canyons to the ski resorts without traction. Uh, the traction laws are in effect without the, certainly the all wheel or four wheel drive or the chains. Hey, we've got a couple of skiers here. Linda Cotman in the blue jacket, Jane Albright right here with the beads. A couple <laughs> of ladies from Denver, Colorado have left Colorado for Utah. And why, you know, they've got snow over there. What's, what's the story? Well, we have our annual girls trip, and this year we decided to come to Utah because we haven't skied here. And we skied all to yesterday. How was it? It was good, except for the wind. And then today we have all this great snow. 347 inches this yeah. season there. Now, you took up skiing at four years old. When did you pick up skiing? My 40s. And uh, how you like it? I love it. You, how often do you guys ski? Hmm, as often as I can, usually once every one or two weeks. So you got four of you on the ski trip. Yeah, actually three, three of us. Or three of you. And do you pick a different destination every year? Yes, yes. Where are some of the other spots you've been? Steamboat Springs, Crested Butte, 
Where'd we go? Oh, Montana. Oh, you were in Mike. Big Sky. Big Sky. Yeah, nice. Yeah. We have kids there in college. Yeah. Oh, so it was great. oh, yeah. Montana State? Yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. That was great. So you're going to get up there right now? Right now. As soon as we're done with you. <laughs> and then get out, get out and get some runs in, huh? Yes. Well, it is cold up there. The wind chills are already below zero. And, oh. and are you, now, are you concerned about how deep the powder is? Because I know it's, it's tough skiing powder versus a groomed environment. I'm a little concerned about it, but, you know, it's soft. When you fall, it's soft. That's true. That's true. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, Linda and Jane, thanks for joining us. Have a great day up on the slopes. How many days are you here? Oh, we got one more ski day after this. Okay, well, I can guarantee you, I'm not going out on a limb. The skiing doesn't get any better than this. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're excited. Okay, I'm excited for you. There you go, a couple ladies from Colorado taking in the champagne powder here in Utah. So Tevin and Felicia, you know, there's always the, the, the good side of winter. And if you're into winter sports, this kind of day, I mean, if you're a powder hound, you love this. And tomorrow, one of those bluebird days where the sun comes out and it's not as cold. So uh, either way, today or tomorrow or the next day, as I mentioned, Altus had nearly 350 inches of snow. Last year, they had 626 wow. and the average about 500. So the ski resorts there have done very, very well. They're running above average here in Utah. Oh, yeah, certainly a winter uh, sports lovers paradise going on in Utah there right now. Thanks. So I'm going to take you to Holiday, Utah. We've got a winter storm warning in effect there. And that's where we find our own meteorologist, Mike Seidel. Mike, it just does not seem to let up. It, it's certainly not snowing as hard as it was, but it just keeps coming. Indeed. No, it has lightened up uh, considerably right now, but it comes and goes. We get those heavier bursts. This is Big Cottonwood Canyon Road. Now, we've got commuters here. We also have a lot of folks going up to the ski resorts, and I just noticed uh, on Twitter, Big Cottonwood Canyon, they're telling us that uh, you can get up there, but the visibility, especially at the beginning, at the bottom of the canyon, is very low, and I saw the video, and it's not great, and they say if you need to pull over and clean the snow off your car, get out and get off the roadway and drive winter uh, safe. And you've got to have all wheel or four wheel drive or chains to go up through the canyons to the ski resorts today. That's not surprising. Schools closed today. By the way, the ground stop at Salt Lake City International has been lifted and there's no ground delay program. So that's good news all around. They had to shut down uh, the runway to get it cleared from snow, that one runway they're using. So better news for travelers getting in and out of Salt Lake City. Last time I checked, only one flight canceled today. They'll certainly be de-icing through this evening. But uh, traffic moving fine. We occasionally see the front wheel drive vehicle out here. They got stuck. As far as snowfall goes, coming into the storm, Salt Lake City was running a 30% deficit, about 10 inches. And they've had at least seven at the airport. So they're eating into the deficit. Some of the ski resorts, amazing. Alta has had uh, 300 and I think about 347 inches of snow as of last night. And they're going to pick up another one to two feet. This time they're running ahead of schedule. They average about 500 a year. And remember, March tends to be the snowiest month in this part of the country through the Wasatch uh, front. So a very cold day, Felicia. Temperatures holding in the low 20s and down in the single numbers and teens tonight here uh, in this part of Utah. Oh, yeah, definitely a cold, snowy one. Uh, perfect if you want to sit inside, sip some hot cocoa, and just watch that snowfall. Thanks so much, Mike. Well, much. We're continuing our coverage of Winter Storm Cade. This is a coast-to-coast -coast one. It's dumping here in Utah. It's heading towards Denver. Uh, we've got warnings up for Boulder and Golden, just west of downtown Denver. Higher elevations, getting the most snow, kind of like here. And then it's going to impact Oklahoma City and at least the Dallas-Fort Worth, Oklahoma City corridor. We're not exactly sure who's going to get the most snow. Uh, the GFS American model is pointing away from Oklahoma City, more towards Dallas-Fort Worth, the European model just the opposite, where it would put more snow out west of Dallas-Fort Worth. Speaking of snow, now these are the parking lots, so even though they scraped, you can see snow-packed, snow-covered. The snow has lightened up quite a bit, but what's great about the snow is it's powder. We're talking low 20s. Look at this. I mean, it's so light and fluffy. It's not that heavy, wet snow. Come over here. I'll show you how easy it is to clean off your car. And for those of you watching from the Southern Climbs, you always see on social media, I'm glad I don't have to do this. Look how easy this is. I just put my arm down and push it right off. So we've got about a foot of snow out here. This car was not here this morning when we got here around um, about five or six o'clock. So very easy to clean the car off. 
don't really have to scrape anything. But make sure you clean off the hood. That's always important, especially with this kind of stuff, because this just will blow off and impact visibility in the drivers behind you. It's not the heavy, wet stuff that will sometimes slide off over your front windshield. So the snow winds down this evening. We're going to get several more inches, especially up here and in the ski resorts. And uh, just checking, they're reporting slide offs in Big Cottonwood Canyon. So take it easy, slow down. In fact, the vehicle that was in the video, Tevin, was an all wheel drive vehicle that has a reputation of <laughs> defying physics. And you know, that's not the case. Yeah. So you got to take it easy and just, uh, you're not invincible, even in an all wheel drive vehicle when you have this much snow and elevation. I like to say ice and snow. Take it slow out there on the roadways. Mike, thanks for that. And don't expect winter wonderlands like this. Uh, Mike, you've been out there all morning long. Is this sort of the worst or better weather conditions you've seen thus far? <laughs> Well, certainly the lightest snow we've seen so far. It's been snowing nonstop since about midnight last night. Airport now nine inches, by the way, not official, but the record today for February 3rd is seven, set back, I believe, in 1936. So uh, I can almost safely say we've broken the daily record. Now, the all-time calendar day record in February is 10.9 inches. So we only need about three more inches. I don't know if we'll do it. Up here, we've already had a foot of snow. We're in the benches, so we get a little bit of lift. There's the Wasatch Front Range. You can kind of make out the uh, terrain now. Boy, it's so nice out here, especially in the summer. Nice now, but in the summer with that low humidity, for those of you who live back east and in the Midwest and suffer through the dew points in the 70s. But a lot of these people here are going up to the ski resorts. And as I mentioned earlier, there have been uh, slide offs in Big Cottonwood Canyon. And I'm sure the uh, conditions are the same in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Restricted visibility. They're trying to keep the road open, but you got to take it slow, even if you have a vehicle that can defy snow and ice. And there aren't many that can do that. So just uh, take your time. You'll get up there and you get this great powder in. School's closed today. That's unusual for Salt Lake City. Airport is has got delays. Now, there's no official delay program from the FAA, but uh, looking at the tweet from uh, Tevin, thanks, Tevin, for sending that to me. Uh, they're reporting 60 to 90 minute delays on some of the flights, but I looked at flightaware.com uh, and they're telling us 84 flights have been delayed, only seven cancellations. So that's a very small number of cancellations. So flights are going to get out. Of course, they are going to be de-icing. Snow winds down this evening. Depending on where you are, the valley, the benches, the mountains, uh, Tuella, you may get another three inches, another six to ten inches. It's just all about elevation at this point with this northwest wind. And then the next couple days, we'll see drier weather and sunny skies. That'll melt off this road. Now, this has not been uh, plowed recently, Felicia. Once they plow it, we'll see more of the asphalt. But you still got to take it nice and slow. Temperatures today in the low 20s aren't going to help in the melting process. The only help we're getting is what radiation is coming through this overcast. Felicia? Thanks a lot, Mike. Yeah, it does seem as though that road looks a little messier now than it did, say, earlier right after being plowed. Thanks so much for being out there with us uh, for us, Mike. Let's talk about what is going on with some of those